Okay, so let me go ahead and show you real quick how to get um, the Link's Awakening uh, HD installed here on um, the Steam Deck. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to the Itch.io site here. Uh, pretty easy to find. You just go to you can literally type it in Link's Awakening DX HD. And if you want, you can type in itch.io after that, itch.io. And um, you'll get here and you'll see a, a download link. <clears throat> so it's fairly easy. Uh, once you download it, it's going to go up here at the top. And again, for the Steam Deck, you got to make sure that you're in desktop mode. So you want to, if you're in uh, the regular Steam OS interface, exit a desktop mode and just open up your favorite browser. Um, once you've gone to the site, you download it for on Chrome, for example, it's going to be up here at the top. And I apologize for the small text. Uh, this this is my um, my Deck HD uh, model, so it's it's a little higher res than a normal screen. Uh, but you, you'll get the point here. So um, there it is. It's downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a folder for it. And I've already downloaded it once before. So, and I've extracted it, so here it is. So what you want to do here is, and it's going to be easier if you've got a mouse, but you can do it with your finger if you want. It's not going to be that hard. But what you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, uh, move this somewhere, either to your document, to your folder. I have my SD card, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to put it on the root of my SD um, right here. So primary removable drive, so there's my emulation folder for Emudeck and I'm gonna go ahead and paste one folder. All right, so now that I've got it here, you'll see that it's the .exe, and obviously that's not gonna work. Um, what you wanna do next is you wanna go down here to the bottom left, and this is your Discover uh, Software Center. Go ahead and go here, and you wanna go ahead and install uh, the Heroic uh, uh, Launcher. So. Just type in heroic, H-E-R-O-I-C, enter, and you'll see the heroic game launcher. All right, so you wanna go ahead and install that, and that should take a couple seconds, depending on the speed of your internet. <clears throat> All right, so now that it's installed, go ahead and Go here, and you want to go to launch. Why is that? All right, so here's the Heroic Launcher. And what you want to do here is you want to go to Add Game. And let's go ahead and give it the title. And we're going to go ahead and give it the title of uh, Link's Awakening. DX HD. Okay. Now, what's nice about this is, is it's going to look for an uh, uh, an image, and it found one, and it's going to find this the 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 links uh, links awakening DX art, which is fine because obviously there's a homebrew game, but I mean it's based off this, so that's fine. Uh, leave everything pretty much a default here. Windows, everything else is going to be default. From here, we're going to minimize that. And we're gonna go ahead and select executable down here at the bottom. Click on the folder. And we're gonna go down to your SD card. So removable devices, primary. I'm gonna to go to the folder that I created and I'm gonna choose the EXE, there it is. And then hit choose. And you're gonna hit finish. Now, once you do that, you're gonna hit play. And it's going to say, we could not find the selected Wine version to launch this. Uh, do you want to continue launching with Proton? Uh, yes, I do. So I'm going to hit yes. And it's going to launch here. And it's going to give you this message right here that says, uh, to run the application, and again, it's going to be hard to read now. Uh, let me see if I can get closer. You know what? I'm just going to zoom in with the phone. How about that? There we go. That's better, huh? Um, it's going to say, uh, uh, to run this software, you must install the .NET. Obviously, you can't install .NET um, on Linux, sort of, right? So you're going to hit 
actually, you're gonna hit yes here. And what that's gonna do is gonna open up a, a browser and it's gonna take you right to the, uh, uh, to the download page. And it's going to, you wanna go ahead and click here to download it and it's gonna download the file. So there it is. And from here, um, what you wanna do now is close that. You're gonna go back to the icon, click on the configure settings. Here, you're gonna scroll all the way down and you see this button right here, run exe on prefix. So what this is doing is it's basically creating an entire container and it's gonna install .NET with the application together. So we wanna go ahead and choose that. And then we're gonna go ahead and choose that download. So we're gonna choose the uh, Windows desktop runtime, select, and you'll see that it's running it and you're gonna see a couple flashes here and then you're gonna get the .NET installer and just hit install. and hit close and that's it. So now I wanna go ahead and close that and you can launch it. Let's give it a second, there it goes. Now, um, what you wanna do here now is go ahead and close it. Go ahead and close it close it here and we're gonna go back to the heroic launcher and if you click on it you're gonna get this right here and this is you can play it if you want but what you want to do now is click on these little dots here and go to add to steam now it's gonna tell you down here that it's been added to steam successfully so now you can close this out close everything out and we can go ahead and go back to game mode All right, so now we're gonna go back into the Steam, regular Steam OS interface here. All right, so we're back at Steam here. And if you click on your Steam button, bottom left here, and then go to library, and then you choose your bumpers, and go to non-Steam. I see it right there now. It's listed. And you'll see there's the picture that we installed, and just hit play. And that should have launched. We'll try it one more time. Sometimes I think the first time it does it. There it goes. First time it does it with the steam, it's got to like write to it. But... Settings, video. Over this window if you want. Some camera lock, some screen, etc. So you've got four button mappings as opposed to two there. And everything works, so you can use that. Use the use the D-pad here. And if you haven't seen what this game can do, or you know, kind of the, the, the nature of it, right? So you can go back here, go to settings, video, and we can scale. So if you choose 10x here. That would be like if you're playing on a Game Boy, right? So like, that's how close you would be. But, back out, video. 3X is pretty far, but you can go all the way to half X. 
and the game, while it's small, if, you know, I'm looking at it here on the screen and I can actually see myself, but you see the entire map. <laughs> How did they give you a hot button for zooming in? Wish they did. Maybe in the next version. But, uh... Uh, 2x is good. Nope, 2x is pretty good right there. has auto save so you really don't have to save That should, that should let you play it now. And again, something, another, another Zelda game you can add to your Steam Deck. You can already play pretty much all of them, including uh, Tears of the Kingdom. So, there you have it. you enjoy it it's pretty easy it's it's not the hardest to install there are other ways you can install uh using all sorts of different methods um i've seen people use wine i thought that was the easiest for me though getting the dot net um installed you can also use proton fix which is another method um if you're familiar with that if you already know how to use that then that should give you the, the hint of just using proton fix to install the dot net um add-on but that's the, the key there is that dot net uh needs to be installed or it won't work It'll keep giving you that message over and over again. But there you go. Enjoy.